So, okay, we're going to move on now to we talked about some of the prospects. We talked about mostly Joey Bosa and him being a bust, but we got to talk about an actual deal that happened. Not not franchise tags, not transitional tags, but an actual agreed comment or contract, I should say, from the Eagles and Sam Bradford, a two-year contract worth $36 million with a $26 million guaranteed of that 36. Is this the right move for the Eagles? I'm just going to get right to it. Is this the right move for the Eagles? Yeah, I don't completely get it. You know, it's not bad. You're not sitting there going, oh, you guys messed up. Mm-hmm. But you're sitting there saying, mm, you didn't, I don't know, like you could have done other things. But at the same time, were you going to get somebody better? You probably get someone cheaper who can do about mm-hmm. the same. Uh, you know, at least I think for, for Philadelphia, it's them saying, hey, we're still trying to compete. Because I feel like if you got rid of Sam or, Bradford. Or, hey, we don't want to lose out. Like, we don't want to mm-hmm. be the losers of that trade, and that trade being the one with the Rams. They're both losers of that trade. <laughs> that trade was a no-win trade. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, you know, if they went and got someone else, I think they'd probably be admitting, yeah. We don't expect much of this season. Mm -hmm. So at least this way, they're kind of saying they're still trying to compete. You're probably not going to get that much more out of Sam Bradford than what we've already seen. You know, you're lucky if the guy stays healthy the whole time. Well, he's not. He's not going to be healthy the whole time. Maybe he'll be Carson Palmer. I've always said Carson Palmer will never be healthy, and look what happened. He was healthy. Then he, you know, threw, what, five interceptions? Six turnovers, like something like Carolina that. Against Carolina in yeah. the NFC Championship game. So you've yeah. got that to look forward to. Brian, you'll have to fact check us on that one. Yeah, I mean, Sam Bradford's only played two full seasons. One was his mm-hmm. rookie year. So the last two years he played seven and 14. So 14's not terrible. You know, you're not that upset about that. But it's interesting with Sam Bradford because he puts up pretty decent numbers. Nothing lights out, but mm-hmm. he puts up good numbers. Doesn't throw tons of interceptions. He throws a fair amount of touchdowns. He's fi- he's a fine quarterback. He just isn't that number one overall talent that people expected out of him. And it's that kind of thing where, sure, Philadelphia lucked out here because they have a short-term deal. They kind of can use him as an expensive stopgap and move on later, kind of figure out some other things first and let him, I don't know, maybe be a game manager. Maybe play the game that Kirk Cousins was or is probably going to be expected to do. What Jay Cutler just did in Chicago. What, you know, Teddy Bridgewater is going to do in Minnesota. Just be that guy who does enough and doesn't lose the Mm -hmm. game. And let the other players, the other talented players that you got, let them be the ones who do it. Yeah, this to me is, I know that the one thing I got to throw out there is the number one good thing about this deal is Sam Bradford's not coming back to play for Chip Kelly. He's not playing in that system that, let's be honest, it didn't fit Sam Bradford. No, it didn't make sense. At all. Where Now he gets a guy like Doug Peterson who last year did some good things with besides going 1-5 and five with Alex Smith. They turned it on at the right point and he was with, Peterson was with the Chiefs from 2013 to 15, Alex Smith came in. So they came in together, Alex yeah. Smith and Peterson. And I mean, Doug Peterson was able to do good things with Alex Smith. So maybe this is Peterson going, hey, you know what? $36 million. It's not one of those mega deals. It's only two years. It's kind of like a what can I do with this guy in the same amount of time that I had with Alex. Yeah. However, and, in the NFL, you know, if you don't win right away, you could be done after those two in. years in Philly. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting where it's it very much is that trial period. It's kind of expensive for a trial period, mm-hmm. but it is. It's just saying, hey, you got a couple years. Let's see what you got. If it doesn't work out, that's fine. We'll move on. You know, if you're just average and we think we can do better, we can get better. If you do really well, great. We have you for a couple of years, and then we'll work out something else. Well, and I mean, another thing that I kind of think of is, and of course I'm not expecting him to go anywhere, but you kind of got to throw out is it's kind of interesting that this this move happened right now 
Were they worried that Sam Bradford was going to sign with a different team? Maybe because you know how teams get when they're desperate to get. Plus, he was only there for one year, so he's got no loyalty to Philadelphia. But the thing that I'm interested in with the time of this is today the franchise tags came down. It was the deadline for the franchise tag. I want to say it was like 3 o'clock earlier today as we're recording here on Tuesday night was the actual you have to tag a player by this time or they become a free agent. Well, the Broncos tagged Von Miller. We knew that that was going to happen, mm-hmm. but it officially made Brock the Cock, Brocky Top, Brock a Doodle Do, whatever you want to call him. Mm-hmm. It officially made him, as of right now, the top quarterback prospect in yeah. free agency. So to me, if I'm the Eagles, like, unless you're sitting there and going, hey, he's going to re sign with the Broncos. Otherwise, I'd be sitting there going, I want him. Yeah. I want to work with him, not Sam Bradford. I want to work with Brock the Cock. Yeah, but there's no way you're going to steal him. And they know it. You don't they think know so? They're not As steal of right him. now, Peyton Manning's coming back. Peyton Manning's not coming back. Well, okay. Get it out of no, your no, head. No, 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 it, It's not going to happen. I don't think he's coming back. But as of right now, I have yet to be told anything. So I'm assuming he's coming back. Brock Osweiler has been told plenty. You know, that was a at the Combine. John Elway's up there saying, oh, I haven't talked to Brock mm-hmm. yet. I'm sure you haven't talked to him. You have not sat down and talked with him. Yeah. Somebody has sat down and talked with him. He knows that everything's good. He knows it's going to work out. They're just sitting there going, Peyton, we told you we'd give you time, but come on, man. We're not giving you that much time. Hurry it up. We want to move this on. And it is March 9th that, boom, that day is when Peyton's new contract yeah, starts. Yeah, it really is a situation, too, where – you know, they're sitting there going, hey, we don't, we're trying to give you the benefit here to let you retire. Do you really want to make us cut you? Because we're going to have to cut you. Well, and it's next Monday, the 7th. I, mm-hmm. The times, it's a little weird because the, I believe the 7th is, boom, free agency starts. However, the 9th is that time where, okay, like Peyton Manning, he's got to give a decision before the 9th because yeah. on the 9th, his new contract starts, and it's officially, boom, on the books. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, you know, he's really taking his sweet time, but he took his sweet time before he went to Denver, too. He took a long time there with all of that, so who knows. Um, yeah, but I'm sure the Eagles would like to have him. Interesting thing to point out with Sam Bradford, he's going to be 30 at the end of this contract. So I think there's some significance there, too. You know, he is going to be a little older. He's going to probably turn into that journeyman Mm -hmm. uh, because I doubt when he gets to 30, they're going to give him four years. You know, not many people are expected to be Tom Brady and play till you're 80. Yeah. So Sam Bradford, I mean, I don't know. I kind of expect him to, this is it. He's going to be the Eagle quarterback for two years. We'll see where he goes after that. He's just going to be on these short one, two year deals here and there, just on various places. Is Philly going to, are they going to do anything? Like, are they going to go anywhere with Sam Bradford at at the helm? I think they could go to the playoffs. They can win the division because well, the division's not good. Especially if Tony good. Romo's injured again. Yeah, Tony Romo gets hurt. I mean, the the biggest thing for for any of these teams in the NFC East is you have Tony Romo, who got hurt again. Mm-hmm. Kirk Cousins is it a one year fluke? But the real deal is the Giants. The Giants. Eli Manning with You mean this equal Manning. Equal Manning, that's right. Equal Manning with this system who he's really feeling comfortable with. The McAdoo system. With we'll get to the, you know, wide receivers soon enough, mm-hmm. but one of, if not the best wide receiver in the NFL, Odell Beckham Jr., who was not a one year fluke. No, he wasn't. He was not. He proved that it's gonna be the real thing. He's actually gonna do this. So there are some great things coming out of New York. Now without Tom Coughlin, yeah, I think they can go and they can do some good stuff. And really with the Eagles, and I know that I said with earlier in the segment that this deal for Sam Bradford was kind of like a why? Like, yeah. Why? Why? Why now? Unless you really thought he was going to sign with somebody else, I just, I'm starting to think about it a little more. And Doug Peterson has the possibility, quarterback and running back wise to do exactly what he did with Andy Reid in Kansas City and that is 
I have a quarterback that it was on the way out. The old team didn't want him anymore. With Adam, Alex Smith, it was the Niners were like, take him. We don't want him. First overall pick so many years ago, take him. With Sam Bradford, the Rams were like, get out of here. We don't need you. You're done here in, well, mm-hmm. at the time, St. Louis. He's got the same kind of quarterback, that wise. And he also has a very strong running back. And if he can have the production... Does from, he have that running back, though? If he can have the production from DeMarco that he got from a Jamal Charles in Kansas City, because the thing you got to think about with DeMarco, one of the big reasons why I feel like he didn't do as well as he could have, they didn't use him right. Mm-hmm. That system for Chip Kelly wasn't a fit for DeMarco Murray. Yeah, but, I mean, I, it's going to be interesting to see with DeMarco what he does, if he does bounce back like that. You would think he should. You really would. You'd think that he should bounce back. Um, so, I don't know. He's got to hope. You know, because you can't let Sam Bradford go and be the guy who is going to, you know, lead this team. It's not going to mm-hmm. happen. The thing that, you know, is interesting for DeMarco Murray, though, is he doesn't want to be in Philadelphia. He, with all his heart, wants to go back to Dallas. That's what he wants. Mm-hmm. He doesn't seem like he wants to be part of this team. He hasn't really gotten to experience a new coaching staff yet, but Chip mm-hmm. Kelly left a bad taste in his mouth, Doug and he Pe- wants out. Doug Peterson will turn it around. He will turn, like, and when I say turn around, I'm talking about with DeMarco. He'll make DeMarco want to be there again. It's a new staff. Everyone's coming in, and it's just Chip, Chip Kelly's system sucks, and the 49er fans, I'm sorry, but... I may pick you guys to go 0 and 16 this year with Chip. Of course you will. I may pick you to go 0 and 16 because Chip sucks. And I then mean, they'll win six games, <laughs> or they'll win two and be like, "Oh, we won two. Huh, fuck you." But, You're wrong. Uh, but yeah, this Sam Bradford deal, I for me it's a big why, but I can understand why they did it to not be redundant with the there word. There was nobody. Why. Uh, yeah, there's nobody else. Unless, unless, like, the only thing I could see of why you wouldn't do something like this is if, and Eagle fans, let's be honest, it, you probably weren't going to be able to, if you could steal a Brock the Cock away from Denver. But like I said, that I say that, but it's kind of like a fairy tale. Mm-hmm. Where is it really going to happen? Probably not. Un- and the only other thing, you're not going to trade for Kirk Cousins. Like, the Redskins want to work a deal with him. They made that clear when they franchise tagged him and didn't transitional tag him. So I kind of feel like it was either Sam Bradford or get a young quarterback that would be way worse than Sam Bradford, and you just got to handle with what you got. Yeah, exactly.